And shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. All right, Brachita Yahweh, Brachita Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. And peace and grace be multiplied into the house of David by Alf Dawah Dai, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are chosen to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Double honest to the apostles of Great Millstone. I learned the truth from peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the man that's pushing the gospel of Yahweh Shah Mashiach to the best of their ability, sincerity, and in the truth, and to the men, women, and children that's uh, keeping the faith of Yahweh Shah Mashiach to the best of their ability day in and day out. All right, so uh, you know, just real quick on the way to the plantation, um, uh, his brother, Atazawan, uh, on the way to the plantation, you know, just was, uh, you know, meditating, man, on, on how, you know, brothers. And sisters, you know, that are in this truth, you know, many, you know, the, the, the men that are in this truth, man, we're seeking a, a, a kingdom to come, man. All right. This is what this is what this whole thing is about. OK, we, we understand that here in America, because you got our people think they, they, they have no faith in the Lord, man. They don't have they don't have faith in the promises, just like how they didn't have faith during the time of uh, when we when we were delivered out of uh, ancient Egypt, man. Okay, they wanted to go back into uh, into Egypt. They want to go back into servitude. Well, here they want to stay in this place. They want to stay in slavery. They want to stay underneath the, the rulership, the thumb of their enemy. Okay, but you know the Lord always spoke about a remnant. Okay, and in these last times that He was going to uh, deliver, and Lord willing, we be those men. But we have those. We have that life might of those men because we understand being in America isn't isn't our place of rest, man. Isn't our uh, isn't isn't where we're supposed to you know build and and be happy and none of that man. and this is oppression this place is a is, is a, literally the place of our captivity okay all you see is just death uh, all around us man okay you know no 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 happiness no type of uh, uh serenity none of those things man you know and, and i don't really have any scriptures lined up i was just meditating on the way to the uh way to the to work man and you know jake does this every single day man they get up and they go to work, you know, they, they go someplace that they don't want to go to, to uh, do something that they don't want to do, all right? A lot of times, like myself, you got to actually pay to go to work and you got to take public transit, That's, all right? Got to be stuck in traffic. Dealing with all, all being in this place, is, is Israel a servant or their homeborn slave? Well, if you will ask the, 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 the majority of our people, they would say yes, man. They would say, yeah, they're servants. But they wouldn't say it, you know, uh, blatantly. You know, they would just say, you know, I'm, I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to get this money. All right, but who money is that? That's not your money. Okay. Shalaki Aki, I'm fucking Satan, man. You know, but it talks about in Isaiah 14 about uh, he he who, uh, he who, uh, uh, um, I'll just get it real quick. Okay. Because ultimately, man, we, we are looking for the kingdom, man. That's it. We're not looking for anything else. Nothing short of what the what the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through the Son, Yahweh Shai, promised his elect, man. Promised the children of Israel. Starting with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. That's what we've been seeking for. And that's what we're going to keep fighting for, man. All right? But I'm going to get this real quick before I get those other scriptures. Isaiah 14 and 4, it says, And thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. Now, who's the king of Babylon today, man? It's these these uh, Edomites, man. All right. Specifically, you Rothschilds, okay? You Rockefellers, you Duponts, you Gettys, you uh, super elite, you central bankers, man. Y'all the king of Babylon, all right? And Babylon is America, man. Okay. And America has pushed forth their wine throughout the four corners of the earth, but the four corners of the earth isn't Babylon, all right? But um, just had to say that because you got. These people, man, coming up with these uh, uh, wayward doctrines in these last time, trying to pervert the scriptures, man, trying to pervert the truth. But the truth is going to prevail, man. All right. You know, hey, the scriptures talks about in these last times, people are going to give heed to seducing spirits. These are just more signs that we at the end. OK, but the, our focus is on the kingdom, man. Our focus is on you devils. All right. You elites. OK, exposing you, uh, uplifting your skirt. And our focus is on the elect, man, waking up the elect. It's telling them to do what, man, to repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. All right, the, the Lord is 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 in a time of making making uh, uh, manifest His promise that He that He promised us a four time, man. Okay, and that's what we're seeking for. That's what we want. Nothing less, man. We don't want this place. We don't want America. We don't want equality in this place. 
all right? That's even lowering yourself anyway, man. All right, uh, 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 making yourself equal to a base man. Then, if you think about it, then how much, how low are you, man? That's that right there should let you know because the scriptures calls you so-called Caucasians, you Edomites, the basis of men, the vows of the vow. And here we are, not us, but our our people are trying to fight to be equal to to the vows of vow and the basis of men. That's how much we're suppressed, man. That's how much we have been put down. Okay, and when you read that in the scriptures in Deuteronomy 28th chapter, it told you all about that, man. Okay, and the, and the Lord did that. He put this devil over us, man. But the Lord also said that he should have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel. Okay, it says, um, and I shall take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how has the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased. That's right, man, because in order for the kingdom to come, this devil, this rulership, this, this way of life, has to end, man. There is no, there is no uh, uh, two kingdoms ruling together. There's no Jacob and Esau. No, man. When you read the scriptures, Jacob and Esau always been uh, uh, um, uh, uh, against each other, man. Jacob and, uh, uh, and Esau always been adverse to each other. So when one is when one is ruling, the other is getting oppressed, and when one is getting oppressed, the other is ruling. That's it, man. Okay. And the kingdom of heaven is the kingdom of Israel. So when we get on top by way of our savior, our Messiah, which all the ancient, all the, all the Israelites basically spoke about, even the wicked Israelites uh, knew that there was going to be a Messiah. They just didn't believe that Yahweh Shah was the Messiah, but they all knew about the Messiah coming to, uh, for restoration, okay, of, of Israel to restoring us back to our, our former glory, okay, that, that Messiah, Yahweh Shai, is for the nation of Israel to be redeemed, man, it's for the nation of Israel to be on top. It's for the nation of Israel to have the kingdom. Okay? I get that too. Uh, Acts, the first chapter, the sixth verse. Because we're in the same spirit of the righteous men that was following Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? They were, they were seeking for the kingdom. Plain and simple. That's why Peter asked Yahweh Shai, you know, we forsake all and follow you. What shall we have? And Yahweh Shai let him know. He gave him the answer. But, um, I get that real quick. Like I said, I don't have any scriptures. I'm just going off the uh, spirit, so just bear with me. Uh, Matthew chapter 19, verse uh, 27. And, and then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Okay? And that's the same thing in, in this generation and this last time. Which, 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 when the Lord gave this answer, that that stayed with those men. Okay? That stayed with all those, uh, the 12 disciples. And, and those that the 12 disciples preached unto, that stayed with them, man. I stayed with their spirits. So that's why when they come back, and now in these last days, that's why those words are still profound unto us, man. Lord willing, we be a part of that elect, okay? Because when you tell, if you tell a two-third this, all right, if you forsake all, follow Yahweh Shai, and this is what you're going to get, they're not going to believe it, man. They're not going to, they're, they're, they're of this world. They want the things of this world, just like how them wicked Israelites wanted the things of Rome. Okay, one of the things of that generation, man. And you see how that ended. 70 AD, that generation ended. They got pillaged and raped and robbed and, and destroyed, man. And the scripture says that this time is going, to be, is going to be like a time that has never been upon the earth. So 70 AD is not going to be able to compare to the hell that's coming to this place, man. To, to, to you Israelites, Jacob's trouble, man. But the Lord said he should be saved out of it. Who is the he? The ones that were... were or trusting and believing, you have faith on Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai. Okay? Seeking for the kingdom, man. That's what the Lord was preaching about. All right? He said what? Uh, uh repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. That is the mission. That is the that is the mission statement. When you go to the uh corporations, they have the, the mission statement on the plaque. Well, that's our mission statement, man. All right. Our mission statement is not to 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 make it here in the society, it's not to, you know, get get a six-figure job. Okay, uh, 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 build up here, have have big fun. No, man. Our mission statement is to prophesy against this place, against uh, 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 against great kingdoms of war and of evil and pestilence. And why are we prophesying that? Because that's how this place is going to be destroyed, and that's how our kingdom is going to be built up, man. All right, we're not just prophesying destruction to America just because. Just so uh, uh, we're not prophesying destruction to America, and we're going to be destroyed here. No. We're prophesying destruction to America because that's going to usher in the kingdom of heaven, which is our rulership, all right? 
And anybody that got an issue with that, anybody that got a problem with that, you are a fucking demon, man. You are of the of the fa of your father, the devil. You are you are of Esau's Esau's mind, man. And you're gonna die right along in this place with him. Okay? You should you should want to get out of this place, man. Not to not to be assimilated into this place. Not to be equal to this place. We just had what? Martin Luther King, so-called Martin Lucifer King Day yesterday. It's false ass dream. It, it's so it's nowhere even near. Oh, today's we're nowhere even near that, man. If anything, we're farther away from that, man. Okay? Our people are getting oppressed even more. Okay? Racial tensions is on the rise even more, man. All right? And I say, you know, he was a false ass prophet. That's why the real man of the Lord, the real prophets of the Lord, are speaking about uh, a kingdom. We're not speaking about little white boys and little, uh, little Edomite boys and little Israelite boys holding hands, man. No. Okay? We're speaking about little Israelite boys. Having you little Edomite boys in chains, bashing their heads against the stones, man, oppressing them. Okay, the scripture says that we are the, um, they should take them captives who captains they were. Okay, that's the kingdom, man. But, but even with that, man, our kingdom is going to be a righteous rulership, man. Okay, we're not going to, we're not going to rule wickedly. Okay, we're going to rule righteously. And then after, after our kingdom gets built up, we're going to, we're going to take the wicked out the way. That's how much righteous we're going to be. All right, we're not going to allow the wicked seed to continue to be on this earth, man. So then that's when the whole people, everybody's going to be at rest. Even these other nations that are underneath us that are going to be uh, uh, paying tribute to, to us, they're going to be happier, man. Okay? Yeah, that's right, man. Jer uh, Jeremiah 23 and 25. Okay? And, and now the Lord is manifesting his real servants, his real prophets. And they're prophesying about what the what all the ancient true prophets been prophesying about, man. The kingdom of heaven. Because here we have no continuing city, man. We're not looking for a continuing city here. Okay, you got even the Muslims, the nation of Islam, they're looking to to to, to gather their own gather their own uh, nation and, and buy land. Who, who you gotta buy the land from? You gotta buy the land from Esau. So you're still going down to Egypt from help. Egypt, Egypt, uh, 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 you're still going down to Egypt for help, man. You, uh, you NOI people, man. Uh, you got a lot of Jakes bugged out in that, man. No, man, we're going to take the kingdom. The scripture tells you that in Daniels, man, the seventh chapter. And they shall take the kingdom and the dominion. Who are we going to take it from? The hands of our enemy. We're going to take it from Esau, man. Okay, when Yahweh comes back, that's why he's coming back with vengeance. That's why he's coming back to make war with the nations. Because he's going to take the kingdom, his kingdom, his rulership. Okay, he's sitting down at the right hand of the father waiting until his enemies be made his footstools, man. And his enemies are our enemies. All right. It says, and uh, this is Yahweh Shah verse 28. And Yahweh Shah saith unto them, verily I say unto you, that, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the son of man shall sit in, in the throne of his glory. So we followed Yahweh Shah back then, Lord willing, and we're following Yahweh Shah right now. The regeneration, the, the uh, uh, being again, Again, being uh, generated or uh, 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 coming forth through the genes, man. Reincarnated, man. That, that's what that word should really say. And the, he that followed the Son of Man and the reincarnation. When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. What time is that? This is this time, man. Okay? And we see the signs to prove it. We see the signs, man, of, of the return of the Messiah, man. Okay? Return of our uh, of our Lord and Savior to restore Israel. Restore Israel. All right, and the Lord is coming with gifts, man. He's coming with a reward to the ones that held fast their faith, the ones that continue to follow that path, man. The ones that continue to straight gate, the ones that wasn't trying to make it here in this society, but was seeking the kingdom, man. Seeking the kingdom because when you seek the kingdom, you have to have a kingdom mentality because the Lord is raising up what kings. You got to have a king-like mentality when you're seeking the kingdom, a righteous king, not just being. Uh, uh, I just, I just want to fuck women and, and bash heads, uh, uh, bash people's heads. That's a part of the kingdom. All right. But the real rulership, the real actual duty of a king is to rule, man, is to rule righteously, is to put under subjection the wicked, is to, is to make things on his uh, uh, thriving, man, life. Yahweh Shah said he came to give uh, life and, and life more abundant. OK. And he's looking for those men that's going to have that same like mentality. All right. Because here in America is death. What did, what did David call this place? The valley of the shadow of death, man. All right, but we serve the power of life, okay? The power of the living, so we gotta have that mentality also. And <laughs> and in order to live, you gotta actually you gotta actually kill people, man. You gotta put people to death. 
All right. And that's why we have certain laws and uh, uh, um, putting homosexuals to death, putting adultery, uh, adulterers and adulterers to death, because that would spread that would spread death, man. If we allowed them to live and to thrive. And that's what Esau has been doing in this in this place, man. Letting homosexuals uh, uh, actually giving them rights and giving them uh, a positions of authority, transgenders position of authority. He's spreading death, man. He's spreading, he's spreading vile and wickedness. So that's why David called this place the shadow of the valley of death. And that's why we got to get the hell up out of here, man. There is no staying in this place, man. All right. And all you, and all you false teachers and, and you ones that sold out talking about you going to just live it up here, man. You are going to partake in the, in the, the death of Esau, man. Understand that you are going to partake in the second death, man. Okay. We're, we're preaching about life and more abundant. Getting out of this place, separating. The Lord called us to be holy, which when you go into that word, with Dutch meaning separate, man, pure. We're supposed to be separate and pure, man, okay? And we're supposed to actually rule so we can show everybody else how to be. That's how, that's what the monument, when you go into the word Zion, all right, the monument to Zion, we're the monument of Yahweh, man, okay? He put his name in us, okay? He put his name in us so that we can show forth his glory upon this earth, man, so that we can show how it's supposed to be, how this place is supposed to be operated, man, all right? And that's what Yahweh Shai is coming to do. He's coming to set things uh, straight, all right? And, and our job is to go out there and teach this word so that the, the elect can get it and they could be prepared as a, as a bride uh, adorned for a husband, putting on that, that, that bridal garment, man, which is this truth, which is the faith, all right? It says... And shall sit on his glory. Ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone that has forsaken houses and brethren and sisters and fathers and or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake, which is Yahweh Shah Mashiach, ye uh, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. That's the kingdom, and that's what we're looking for. That's what we are are doing this for, man. Okay, uh, Luke chapter uh, thirty, Luke chapter twelve. Luke chapter 12, verse 31. But rather seek ye the kingdom of the Most High, and all these things shall be added unto you. All right? It's all about seeking the kingdom. It's not about seeking comfortability. Hey, the scriptures tells you when uh, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, man. The furnace of affliction, suffering for Yahweh Shai's sake. Hey, uh, by much tribulation, ye shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So yes, why? Because this place... Is is the upside down world, so to speak? If you you know know that uh, that phrase from um, Stranger Things, man. This is Stranger Things, man. Esau is his kingdom is Stranger Things, man. Okay, because he's a strange nation. All these heathens are strange nations. That's why I told you in Baruch, give not thy honor or all, all the thing that is profitable unto you unto a strange nation. Which means what? The promises, the gifts, man. The the the, the kingdom, the covenants. We're supposed to be giving that to a strange nation, man. The kingdom of heaven is solely and exclusively for the nation of Israel, man. All right? For the elect, first and foremost, but through the elect, the whole nation of Israel. Through Yahweh Shai, I should say, okay? Saving the elect, and through them, the whole nation of Israel, man. That's it. No strange nation is going to be partaking in our kingdom, man. Only only, only a place they're going to have is under us. Because what do we have in, in, in America, in Babylon, under Esau? We're, we don't have a equal rulership with Esau, man. None of these super elites are Jakes, okay? They know they know Jacksons or, or Tyrones sitting down with the with the elites, man. They're all of that pure bread Edomite Edom rulership, man. Okay? And that's what the Israelites, and that's the kingdom of Israel. We ain't having no 144,000 tells you that in uh in uh, uh Revelation 7 and 4 or on down. There's 144,000 or 12,000 of the children of Israel. Point blank and period. All right? This is um and Shalaki, I, I see scriptures pulling pulled up, but I can't really, I can't get them right now. This is uh, Hebrews, you know, and this is one of my favorite scriptures. That I, I got it. That's the, that's what this title is from. Hebrews chapter thirteen, verse fourteen. It says, "For here we have no continuing city." So this is what they were looking for. And, and Paul was a citizen of Rome, but he knew that Rome wasn't his place of rest. He knew that he was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. He knew about the promises. Instantly serving the Heavenly Father day and night, seeking for the promise to come that he promised the 12 tribes of Israel. He knew that, and he knew that ancient Rome wasn't 
and Paul is back here and he knows that this room isn't isn't the uh, continuing city, man. This place isn't going to continue, okay? That's why all these things are happening in this place. That's why the, the dollar is collapsing, the more is, is collapsing. Everything about this place is the 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 uh, the racial tensions is rising. Everything about this place is, is deteriorating because this is not a continuing city, man. But the kingdom of heaven. But the kingdom of heaven is is a, is an everlasting kingdom, man, forever and ever, man. All right, so you know I'm gonna end it right, end it right there, man. Lord willing, this is edifying, uplifting to the elect. Hey, continue to seek the kingdom of heaven, man, because that's what we that's what we seeking for, man, and that's what we've always been seeking for, and that's when the times that we in, we in the time of seeking the kingdom of heaven. All right, and and with that, you need to do it by pr praying, fasting, and staying in the scriptures, staying in the spirit, man. So with that, shalom.